Ladies, gentlemen, boys, girls, I am Josh Samuel, the greatest of the greatest, the best of the best, and that is myself. And on the line with me, ladies and gentlemen, is another great in his own right, and his name is Jabril Ramsey. Uh, Jabril, man, how you been, man? I'm good. Uh, how about you? I can't complain, man, can't complain. Uh, so today, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to be divulging into another Justice League member, another key Justice League member, a very vocal uh, individual off screen, and his name is none other than Arthur Curry, a.k.a. Aquaman, who is played by none other than Jason Momoa. Um, let's talk a little bit first about Aquaman and Jason Momoa, uh, Jabril. Um, as you know, uh, in the comics, uh, Aquaman, mm -hmm. Arthur Curry, has blonde hair and has uh, Caucasian features. However, Zach, uh, once again, did the genius thing and a very true thing in casting Jason Momoa as Aquaman. Uh, Jason Momoa is of a Polynesian background. And I remember reading somewhere where I think it was Zach who said, uh, now brown skin kids will have somebody to look up to uh, in regards to Jason Momoa playing Aquaman. And I remember around the time of the premiere, uh, you know, he was very overwhelmed by the amount of love that he received as Aqua, uh, for, for the movie. And he's always been vocal in regards to his support for Zack Snyder for not only uh, helping his career, but also just as an individual. And, two, he's also been very vocal about uh, the Snyder Cut of Justice League and wanting the world to see it. Uh, with that being said, what's your thought, man? No, uh, that's that. That's, yeah, yeah, like you said, Arthur Curry, or as known as the Aquaman, King of the Sea, he's typically, or has been having to portray as uh, the white here uh, who is supposedly of both uh, the world and the world. Uh, but like I said, uh, with Zach said, you know, if he's going to be a person of both worlds, let's actually represent that. Let's cast Maui Polynesian descent to actually portray um, the King of the Sea, and he chose such a phenomenal, spirited, gifted, and just flawed, badass actor to portray him. Jason Momoa is—he's incredible. He is perfect. He is the Aquaman. It's, it's, yeah, he's just, um, yeah, he, he's, he's immensely amazing. And it, it's, 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 it's definitely spot on cast. Like I would say, yes, he's, he's the biggest supporter of Zach. He's been championing about the Snyder Cut. Um, he's just been down with the fans, and it's, he's a really humble and vicious dude, so. Spot on, Zach. Yes, just more. So yeah, really, really awesome. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. And what did you think about uh the movie Aquaman, which came out in twenty eighteen? Yo, Cap. Right. It was. It, it was. It was. It was. It was absolutely a fun time. Also maintaining that that depth um, that you like in uh, these uh, films, and also the epic and grand scale that just represents that. So it, it was a really, 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 really great time. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. Um, so. With that being said, Capman, um, we'll, we'll divulge into uh, Aquaman a bit more. I know he uh, his his story is something that is probably a lot deeper and bigger than we know in regards to 
Justice League, so I definitely wanna uh I definitely wanna uh want 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 the want the audience listening to know your theory and hear um what you have to say in regards to uh Aquaman Arthur Curry and how uh integral he is to this story. So with that being said, let's get right into it. Now Okay, so let's uh, let's go with some known facts. Uh, we have Arthur Curry, you know, half human, half Atlantean hybrid. Parents are Queen Alana of Atlantis, father is Thomas Curry, the little housekeeper. Um, or for heirs to of Atlantis, has a half frog named Orm, and um, in and, and, and actually, I'm going to rob uh, Jason's uh, cultural background because uh, um, Ultimate definitely um, ties into Polynesian culture. And um, let's actually, let's let's get into uh, the Polynesian aspects of, of Aquaman, uh, as far as Jason Moore. Mm-hmm. So, um... They have the Word of Gods, you know, uh, got the usual Poseidon, and the time is that King Atlan. Um, and then for the Word of Gods, you have a Jin, uh, God of Sea Storms, which, uh, which actually, that's what, that's what Arthur is named after in, um, in the movie. He's, he's named after, um, a, um, a sea storm, uh, a, Hurricane, if you will, um, at the time of uh, his uh, conception, mm-hmm. and you have Kamo, no, uh, wait, uh, Kamohoa uh, Ali, uh, water, um, well, water of life, uh, the the god of um, water of life, and then you have Kamoa, god of the ocean. So these all deeply tie into. The theme of Aquaman, you know, being on the ocean, um, ruling all of sea life, and, um, speaking of that, um, there's this thing, um, in, uh, Polish culture where they do the Haka dance, which is a dance, um, to the gods above, where it presents unity, um, uh, celebration, and you know, the theme of J.O. is about, is about coming together, um, it, it's about, um, uniting the seven, um, or, um, just, just, just being united, mm-hmm. so that, uh, I find it really interesting, um, any, any questions so far, Josh? Uh, no, not really, keep going. Uh, yeah, to get gotcha. you. Um, so, let's see, um, yeah, so, when, so, we first seen Arthur Curry, or Aquaman, back in BBS, um, on, on the files of, uh, Luna Corp, uh, which was discovered by Diana Princess, um, we see, um, on an Alpha 7, um, under Seacam, uh, we see uh, Arthur Curry just exploring the uh, ruins of a uh, second ship, and then we see his glowing eyes, and then he sees the camera, he uh, spikes his shot and it, and then he just blasts off into uh, unknown parts of the ocean. Mm-hmm. So that was so our first glimpse and taste of Aquaman and, 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 and seeing his true uh, capabilities. And... Um, so, 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 so that was cool. Mm-hmm. Um, we know in the Nightmare Timeline, uh, he's actually dead. Uh, him and the whole team of Atlantis are, are, are gone. Um, as, as well as Diana and the Amazon. So that's, uh, very interesting. Um, but Aquaman is a very, you know, Aquaman, he, he is, he's, he, like Cyborg, uh, is definitely underrated because he, he, he's actually a very powerful, uh, figure. He's, uh, he, he's a very crucial and integral part of the league. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, yeah, people really, e- e- even I, uh, yeah, um, even I, um, I, uh, even I under uh, underestimated Aquaman. Uh, given you know, he has total car bunch of of the seven seas of the of the, of the world. Basically, he has the whole world in his hands because uh, you know, seventy five percent of the world is covered by by oceans, by sea, by water. So. He, he, he is essentially a water guy. Right. Um, like, yeah, um, he, uh, like, uh, uh, like in the, uh, like in his, um, uh, in his Punish culture, uh, there's a guy named Namakoe uh, Kylie, which is the god of water and sea, which is essentially what Aquaman is. Mm-hmm. And, uh, yeah, he, he is, he's powerful. And, you know, when 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 uh, when he was first when Jason was, was first announced as Aquaman, um, our first look um, at him was actually back in, in twenty fifteen with the poster which says "Now the Seven mm-hmm. and between seven mean seven seas, uh, the seven kingdoms of Atlantis. Um, as you can see hints of in the Aquaman film, like the Brian Kingdom, um, the Zebul. Uh, Atlantis, you know, many, many, um, kingdoms, you know, and also, of course, Night 7 is, uh, is, of course, many, 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 the league, um, land rollers, sea fairing rollers, and space rollers, so, having the land, sea, and space, so, uh, like, the Lantern, Aquaman, um, Bruce, Cal, Diana, so, man hunters. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, uh, yeah, uh, John Jones. So there's, a, so there's a lot of meaning behind like the seven. Mm-hmm. So that was a great look too. Cause you see him shirtless with, uh, with the half armor look. Um, he, uh, the rugged, uh, just being looking like a total badass. So, so pretty cool. Pretty, pretty cool. Mm-hmm. Um. As far as uh, uh, biblical references, um, according to Psalm 89, verse 9, and it says, You will roll over the surging seas. When its waves mount up, you still them. So, he commands the ocean. Um, there's a call in the film that says, To the gods mean on their will, which I find very, very fascinating. Uh, cause, yeah, cause I mean, he, he also can, also can be a deep character, cause he's, yes, he may be a both heritages human and lantern, but he's accepted to neither, and he, in, in the aspect he's alone, um, he doesn't know where to fit in, and, Almost um, like an outcast, or a misfit. Uh, yeah, yep, yeah, uh, yep, yeah, uh, yeah, uh, uh, yeah, exactly, yeah, and, um, and, and he's very untrusting of, 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 of everybody, including the Marine members, and, and then, uh, the Atlanteans. Mm-hmm. Um, he, he, you know, what I find about him that's relatable is that, at first, yeah, he's, he's, uh, he's just this, you know, like I said, misfit, this honor, he doesn't fit in with anybody, and he's, and he's not accepted for who he is, or what he can't be. Mm-hmm. And, 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 and all I want to do is just, is just go home, see his dad, um, or, or just, or just two ones he cares about. And, like I said, that, that's really relatable. Like, yeah, uh, like sometimes you don't care about anybody else other than the people you love. Um, and, 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 and also, you know, in the Aquaman film and also in prior films within the DC universe like Man of Steel, uh, BBS, Wonder Woman, mm-hmm. but there's this theme of motherhood where, um, where the son and daughter, they always find a way to, uh, to their, to, uh, to reconnect with, with their mother, uh, with their past. Mm-hmm. Um, which I, I, I def- again, I guess, like, like I, I like I immediately said, uh, Aquaman is, is the Man of Steel, uh, origin story for Arthur Curry, 
easily leads to his his accepting the F team of the ocean and um it's like it's it's a very very it's a very very fascinating aspect and very very interesting um games uh, at play and also um in the film there's actually several references uh to uh uh to Man of Steel like with the uh with Arthur flying towards the surface or like BBS where you see Arthur um just take out knock out these bad guys in such a badass way and you see uh so, so you see one scene where he um uh, uh where he uh the uh, the gun and then turns it towards the other uh, criminals like they may be to the thug and where else so lots of cool little hints references towards BBS in the in the wider DC universe which I find best oh and um there's actually a, a uh, there's actually a little reference to Man of Steel twice one um in Aquaman we see um He's, yeah, so when, so when Arthur is, is chained and bound by his, his his brother Orm, you see um, there's uh, you see there's like this little holographic display of what's happening um, above the uh, surface um, on on land. You see the unfortunate pollution, um, the drilling of the ocean, you, and then you you see. Uh, you see, um, all rig explosion from Man of Steel, mm-hmm. and then Jason revealed in an interview, uh, way back, um, I think 20, 2017, where he said, um, uh, Arthur sent those wills to watch over or protect, uh, Clark when he, um, passed out, uh, the ocean, uh, saving those, uh, those workers on the other rig. And um, that's that, and, and that's a little cool little um, interconnectedness to uh, the water BC universe. So I, I found it really uh, interesting. And, you know, uh, Aquaman has a very much, and, and also beyond the film, Jason is a very strong uh, component or uh, a strong component of you know, let's save the ocean, let's clean up our ship, let's. Let's take out the stress, recycle. Right. Let's stop polluting. Let's let's save the ocean because it, 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 it's, it's a beautiful place. Right. And it, it needs to be protected, preserved. Climate change is 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 a real thing. It's it's a threat, and it's, it needs to be stopped. And Jason is Jason is a hero on in, on and off the screen. Right. And you know. Like like I said, his culture is very is very in, is very integral to, to the Aquaman character because he he's so entrenched with the water gods about preserving nature, preserving sea life, um, so he can better understand their world, ourselves, and just you know being being in sync as a people with nature mm-hmm. and. That's a really, really profound and really solid and neat message. Um, that yeah, that it's 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 viable and also it it can really do some good. So I, I definitely, definitely, um, definitely expect that. Um, but yeah, it just his culture is it, it's it's it, it is so significant to the character. Um, cause you know Aquaman, um, he's um, or he can be um, a force for change uh, in in real life. Mm-hmm. Uh, just a bunch of jail members. He uh, Aquaman, he speaks for the sea. Um, he's a proponent of you know cycling, you no know, um, being greener um, in the world. So. Really, really positive, uh, great messages, and, um, yeah, um, got any, uh, questions or any thoughts yeah. so far? It's, it's crazy, man. Zach really did, once again, cast the right guy to play 
Aquaman, and he's just proven, like you just touched on, he's just proven it even now. Uh, even when he's not filming, he's just this big, humble guy. I think a few days ago, he was at like a children's hospital or something like that. And that oh, he was? Yeah, it was, it was a children's hospital or something like that. It's on the internet, but... Yeah, just a all-around great guy, and um, I love his support for uh, Zach and the and the Snyder Cut. And going to the story of Aquaman, man, you brought up some great points about water pollution. I even like the dynamic myself between he and Orm. It isn't exactly the same, uh, but it almost kind of mirrors, uh, like you touched on with the similarities with Man of Steel. It almost kind of mirrors the whole thing between Clark and Zod and Man of Steel and um, this is something you also say all the time. Orm is a guy that just wants what's best uh, for his people. Yeah, and he's not yeah, and he's not necessarily um hmm. evil. Yeah, yeah, he's not necessarily evil, but he you know, it's just his methods, you know, he he's not really a good guy either. He's just, you know, in a very difficult situation and I, I i think patrick wilson did a, did a fantastic job as orm that's uh one of the strong suits of the movie and shout out to ya 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 abdul the second who played black manta as well man he he was he was fantastic in the movie as well i hope going forward we see more of him in aquaman too and that he plays a bit more of a significant role and yeah, the whole theme with his mom, that, that that's just beautiful. Um, I know people say it was lifted from How to Train a Dragon 2. I don't really care. It was a very beautiful moment. And Atlanta was probably my favorite character in the movie. Um, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. Um, actually, I'm, I'm glad I'm, I'm, oh, actually, I'm glad you brought up, uh, brought up, yeah, because, um, yeah, I try. I, I, yeah, uh, I'm glad you uh, pointed that out because I have to, to, to go into detail about that about the whole, you know, it it like you said, it was very parallel to the uh, the um, external conflict between um, I think Curry just like you know, still between Clark and Zai, where both Zai and Orm they want what's best for the people. Mm-hmm. Zai. Wants what's best for uh, the uh, the the uh, bloodline. He wants to preserve Krypton, whether the whether that be by yes genocide, uh, by wiping out the uh, by wiping out the entire king population. Because like like Zach of the Kale, um, even your father understood that Krypton has to be built on something. And then you see Kale go back to uh, just. Uh, singing underneath uh, human skulls, because yeah, that's 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 what that, that's what would happen, uh, or that's what that's what needs to happen to preserve Krypton uh, to extend the bloodline of new Kryptonians. Right. But of course, uh, Cal said, "Nope, screw that. That's definitely happening. Not, not my wife." Right. Um, and then Wolf. Um, uh, then with Orm, he, 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 you know, he didn't really sympathize with both, uh, Zod and Orm, because they, they want what's best for their, their people. Like, right. like, Orm, like Orm and the Atlanteans, he wants the service rollers to stop, uh, stop pollution, stop mining the ocean, just, just stop, let, let us live in peace, um, like, or, um, or like, um, I forgot his name, but, um, so, uh, Diamond Hinsu plays a, um, a merman, um, I believe, um, in one of the kingdoms uh-huh. of the seven, um, seas, and, uh, he said, you know, you know, um, we should not attack them, we should, you know, um, we should, you know, teach them, um, the ways of the sea, mm. uh, we help them learn. How they can preserve it. Of course, Owen was like, "No, I'm not here. None of that. You're dead." And so, and 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 and, and, and tell the rest of you, you don't own my and bring war. And 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 in the line, where he says, "Um, 
I'm gonna bring the rap on the MC's um, service back back in that that uh, that's uh, menacing line uh, which, which I enjoy. He's like, yeah, um, I'm gonna bring the rap on the MC's uh, to the the service world, mm-hmm. um, Doctor Night, and yeah, because he he because uh, uh, he like that stands by um, by his 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 stand. He 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 wants like. He would do whatever it takes to deserve Atlantis or on or my desire to preserve Krypton. So I really like that 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 parallel after between Clark and Zod and and Arthur and and Orm mm-hmm. and um, you know um, and, and and then like I said um, you know Arthur is of uh, like like just in real life, Jason is uh, mixed with Polynesian, Hawaiian, German, uh, European, and then like in the comics, Arthur he's half Lantern, half human. But like I said, both the surface and the sea project them because he doesn't fit in, and that speaks to you know uh, the virtual aspects uh, in real life. Um, mm-hmm. You know, you know, being being conflicted, um, feeling like you don't belong to either, and just and and just the only way you know how to be yourself is just to be alone, being isolated. So I really, really, really dig that um, aspect. Um, what else? Uh, and uh, let and then I guess we can talk about how to see fit to larger. Um, Jail's story, um, cause you know, so Jail 1, Light and Well, Jail 2 and 3, that's a mystery cause Zach, uh, said it back in, uh, in, in March of last year that, yeah, both he and I are dead, They're, they are no more, um, although, um, the, uh, although back in, 17, or 2007 BCE, you know, the first invasion by Summer Wolf and Darkseid, um, the Atlanteans, humans, and Amazons, um, they all won the first battle, uh, they, they saw the first, they saw the first, uh, uh, uh the first apocalypse, um, invasion wave, so this time, uh, they failed to do so, so, that's interesting, um, uh, yeah, uh, that's, that, that's interesting, um, but, um, you know, Aquaman, he, um, he, like, the ocean is very untapped, it, uh, he's very, uh, uh, he's very unexplored, because he has, you know, very interesting works, despite, you know, there's, there's the one on comic story where he loses, um, an arm, and he has, and he has the for hand, like, in the jail, from the nineties and also the um uh the uh the cartoon series. Um you know, the whole dynamic between him and Black Manta played awesome by uh Yaya the Martin the mm-hmm. second. And I and I definitely want to see more of him in the sequel. Mm-hmm. I wanna see uh I wanna see how um how deep he can go. Uh, I wanna see how I wanna see his his um story arc uh, further explored between uh, him and Arthur you know they, they have really bad blood between them so right. uh, to, uh, to have that uh, explored and um and also the uh the costume designs uh, for the film were, uh, were badass because Osman has the very comic inspired look and then like Mansa straight just stepped straight out of the pages of the comics and then Mira she looks awesome Mm-hmm. Uh, so no, there's a you no, know, there's a there's this whole uh, epic and mythological feel to the world of, uh, uh, to the world of, of Aquaman. Um, and, uh, and uh, you know, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't even touch on Amira because she's uh, she's actually even more powerful than Aquaman because uh, she can make massive waves, tidal waves, uh, and, uh, um, and, and, um, and, uh, J.O., uh, 
the Thundercut, she actually sucks the uh, the air in the water out of um, uh, um, out of some wolf, uh, when they first interact. So you know she's a uh, she is way beyond powerful. So that's pretty cool. Mm. Um, yeah, and uh, um, yeah, she can uh, she, she she can essentially turn any liquid uh, into a deadly weapon. Uh, like, uh, like, uh, um, like in the film, she turned that wine cellar into the shards of glass, uh, spinning off the Atlantean guards. Um, but, you know, the, the film was, the Aquaman film was really, really, it was really amazing, and it, and it, and it, and it, it was great to see the, the culture being celebrated, um, while being the superhero, um, epic, because, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's, yeah, it's, it's a, like you said, it's a badass, um, and very cost significant, um, representation of, um, of Jason and his culture, um, of people of indigenous populations, um, just being, you know, celebrated, look to have a hero because you don't see that often in, in, in these big superhero films or even blockbusters so right. it's a very nice change of pace um but um yeah um uh, yeah um I am very curious to, to what happened uh to Arthur doing what happened like how, how did he lose uh cause you think um He's, he's a god, essentially. Um, he's, um, he, he, he's a sea god, and uh, he lost to Darkseid in the forces of Apocalypse, so curious to uh, see how and why it happened. Um, hopefully we'll, we'll, we'll see and uh, get some answers soon. Um, but yeah, um, I like, yeah, um, yeah. Um, Aquaman is, is he, he's now, he, he's also my favorite superhero because he's, he's a badass, and, um, he can also get, uh, can get very deep. Mm -hmm. Uh, he, uh, he has some depth to this character. You know, he's not, he's not like a joke like he used to be way back when. He is a profound, established, um, epic character, and Jason just cements uh, his, uh, his presence, and it, 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 it it's very cool, and, uh, and I can't, I can't wait to see more of him in his films, and also more J.O. Adventures, um, so yeah, um, I, I know I've been talking a lot, uh, got, any, got anything else to say? <laughs> no, man, uh, you, you pretty much covered it all and more, um, as I always say, man, uh, Jason Moore is <clears throat> a, a brother like no other. He's someone uh, who, even in, in the industry that he, he's in, uh, manages to stay humble. And uh, he also is just, just a great, genuine guy. Um, I'm very, 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 very glad that he was cast as Aquaman. I really, really enjoyed the movie. I can't wait to see uh, Aquaman 2. Um I'm interested to see when the Snyder Cut releases. I'm interested to see how all of that comes into play. And I'm glad you brought up uh, Mira, man. You said she's even stronger. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's what you said. You said she's stronger yep. than Aquaman. She is. Wow. Exactly. Wow. Wow. Okay. So, yep. yeah, I'm definitely... I, I don't know with that whole scenario <coughs> with Amber Heard... <coughs> I don't know how that's gonna uh, go uh, play out going forward, but I am interested to see uh, more of Mira, and definitely, definitely want to see more of Atlanta, At Atlanta, Atlanta, and uh, Black Manta <laughs> as well. Yeah. And um, mm -hmm. yeah, man, just all the best for Jason Momoa, all the best for Aquaman, and um, yeah, I'm just very, very glad that Zach casted him. He's a genuine guy. He's a humble guy, and someone next to Ray Fisher, and uh, in most regards, Henry Cavill, uh, that I aspire to uh, be like, and um, we can all uh, aspire to be like in certain regards, whether that's 
being a symbol of hope, uh, whether that's uh, doing the right thing despite how broken uh, or torn apart you may be, or whether that's uh, even if you don't fit in somewhere doing the right thing just because it's uh, the right thing to do. There's something you can take away from each character in Justice League and uh, even with Wonder Woman as well. Uh, shout out to Gal Gadot. And um, yeah, I, that's all That's all pretty much I have to say in regards to that. Um, ladies and gentlemen, <clears throat> wait, Jabril, man, did you have anything else to add? So yeah, um, I, I, yeah, so I wonder what happens in jail. Pretty soon we're going to have the upcoming Flash solo film uh, or a, a, uh, a variation of the Flashpoint storyline. And 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 that uh, that that story arc, um, or at least according to, to, to DC films, where Barry goes back or travels through time via the Cosmic Treadmill, Victor's quantum computing, and also Ryan Troy's uh, mad documents, um, mm -hmm. Barry finds a way to mess up uh, his time loop, his time jump, and he opens a rift through time where we see. Arthur and Diana are at war. Uh, there's a war between the Atlanteans and the Amazons for some reason. And there's a point in the story where uh, Diana just goes full Gagalamo, where she just, uh, where she just, yeah, where she just uh, beheads um, Mira. And now they're on, a, they're in, they're on an all-out war. Um, it's like an upside dark. Um, down, dirty, and gritty, um, uh, apocalyptic future of, or, 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 um, or the, it's like a peek into that, uh, that world, um, with Diana and Arthur still surviving the events of jail two and three. So I think that'll be a very interesting, uh, thread to unravel, uh, in the near future. Mm -hmm. Um, and I'm, and I'm just excited that. Oh, I'm just excited to see Jason Moore, uh, 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 see Jason Moore, and like more uh, solo films or uh, both solo and JO adventures. Um, so you know, Aquaman: Just Like the Ocean is a very unexplored um, character um, it, it, um, with depth. So I'm very curious to see where his story arc goes. Uh, Selfie, when one of those, at least the Thunder Cut, uh, we can see his character actually done justice, and then we see his 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 progression throughout the films. So Thunder Cut, Aquaman, and beyond. So I, I'm I'm very excited to see where he goes. I think Zach and uh, that that Jason is is Aquaman. This is perfect. He's absolutely perfect. So I'm just. Very, very, very good to see where's our goals. So, yeah. Um, he, he's a badass. Let's see, let's see more of him. Absolutely. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we have reached the end of this video. This is about the character of Aquaman played by Jason Momoa. Um, we thank you so much for tuning in. I will leave a link to Brother Jabril Ramsey's channel and our channel Twitter in the description. And uh we'll see you all next time. Peace. Peace out.